Along with the success of the first private spacewalk, some companies are calling the new space race a industrial revolution. Many companies are trying to capitalize on commercial and private use of space travel, including the first commercial space station. A company called Sierra Space is trying to do just that. Along with how common satellite-based internet and communications are, they're hoping to create a whole industry around remote work. Very remote. This may make the ability to become an astronaut a lot more accessible to the average person, but is probably also going to lead to people having vacation homes in lower Earth orbit. Conversely, a company based in the UK has the goal of making humans aquatic. They're hoping to sell both commercial and private space under the ocean. This type of technology could be hugely important to research. Having the ability to have a permanent facility allows underwater research to be a lot safer and more efficient. So it could also be a huge boon for undersea mining. And while we can always find nefarious purposes, this could be incredibly important to archaeology. Currently, their largest system could house as many as 50 people, and their smallest could house three. These types of technologies are already used as a space analog. The Aquarius facility off the coast of Florida is already used by NASA as well as other industries to train for space travel. The Aquarius facility is, however, only 60 meters under the ocean and deep plans on 100 meters or more. But with a $123 million entry fee, we all know that this is just going to be some place that the average person is not going to be hanging out during the next disaster.